Biotech stocks still on the move, and we are watching those markets. Volatile in 2017, the stocks are poised for potential gains in the new year. Joining me right now to talk more about that here in San Francisco at the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference is JMP Securities President Mark Lehman. Mark, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Morning, Maria. Last time we spoke, we talked about how expensive these stocks were, but they keep getting more expensive. They do, and, and the 2017 was a good year for the sector. Uh, I think performance was driven by fundamentals. Fundamentals continue to improve in 2018, and I think this will be another good year for biotech. I mean, the fundamentals are, are what? Because many of these companies are not profitable, right? Oh, so what, what fundamentals are you looking at? You're seeing positive results when they go through phase two and phase three trials, and you're seeing more more and more companies get those kind of positive results and the, and the response from the investors is, is real. Why is that? Because the end markets are so large and some of the responses for big drugs and big end markets continue. Your firm obviously specializes in this area. You think we're going to see a bigger ramp up in IPOs because of the strength we've seen in the businesses? I, I do. I, I think there's a couple things driving that. One is obviously the stocks are working. Second of all, like we see this morning, there's some M&A activity that will, I think, uh, continue through 2018. And I just think they're seeing more and more exposure from some of the generalist portfolio managers, things we haven't seen here at this conference in a couple of years. So what do you like? I mean, what, when you come to a conference like this, what is it, 9,000 attendees? or something. Right. I mean, it's huge. What do you want to, you know, cut through the noise and, and get right to? What are you looking for? I, I think you're looking for companies uh, and, and companies that are going to have news, fundamental news and drivers in 2018. I think you're also looking for large end markets. And I think you're seeing companies, uh, a couple of companies that we like. There's one called Asperion, which uh, focuses on the statin market. Many people take statins. As you know, there's some people who can't take them. They're intolerant. Asperion is focused on that large market for people who are statin intolerant. It's a company called Adamus here, which focuses on uh, Parkinson's disease, which is a large market, uh, has gotten some very favorable uh, news out of their trials, very large end market. We're looking for those kind of stories, these kind of mid-cap names that could become large-cap names. What about deals? I mean, I was talking to one of our guests earlier, and I mentioned the fact that a lot of the large pharma companies are now going to have better profit stories. They're going to have more cash on hand. Are they going to use that money to make acquisitions in biotech? Absolutely. I mean, you've seen the large pharma companies really grow by acquiring. I think they have, we're seeing news on Pfizer today where they're cutting some of their staff, but the acquisition uh, targets that they have has to continue. They obviously have to grow, and the way they grow is large end markets. And you're seeing uh, M&A really drive that market. We saw it a few years ago in hepatitis where we saw a couple rounds of uh, M&A activity. That will absolutely continue because they need Need the pipeline and the pipelines are starting to diminish. They're going to fill that pipeline with M&A. Where's the growth right now in, in healthcare? I think it's, there's a few areas. Obviously, uh, we've seen some big uh, advances in oncology. I think oncology it continues to be an enormous area, obviously a huge end market. I think you see a lot in, uh, in, in different types of, of healthy living. That is another thing that c continues to drive uh, people's uh, day in and day out. And I think there's going to be uh, personalized medicine, which is another story that you've talked about, where people are really hitting uh, individuals, and I think you're going to continue to see that market explode. Well, we were just talking with uh, Ralph De La Torre, and, and, and that's one of the things driving the hospital business, the fact that we're living longer and longevity. I mean, obviously, it's driving the hospital business because people are looking for ways to stay healthy and live a long life. People are going to live longer and they're going to live healthier. And I think people w in the medical device arena, whether you're seeing obviously an explosion in uh, surgeries for knees and hips and all these things. We are going to be, we have uh, the best healthcare system on the planet. We have obviously the best innovation on the planet. That is not going to change. This week, this J.P. Morgan conference, which has exploded in terms of popularity, in terms of results, will continue to drive the innovation. And I think you're going to see the U.S. to be the leader like they have been. Because you see deals happen happening right here at the conference. You do. And you're going to see good news. You're going to wake up tomorrow morning. There's going to be good news, a couple of results from a couple companies that are going to drive stocks tomorrow morning. This will be the seminal week for the conference, for the industry, for the, for, the, uh, for the whole year. But this will be a harbinger of good things for the whole year. But are you seeing more investors look toward health care as a growth story? I mean, for a long time, you looked at the health care industry as really a value sector. But <laughs> I don't know that there's value with the gains that we've seen. You know, seen. biotech is in the eye of the beholder, and value is as well. I right. think you're seeing more more and more people look at this because you see stocks doubling and tripling. I mean, look at the XBI, the biotech index. You had almost 30% of the index that was up over 100% last year. Is that all hype? Obviously not. These are fundamentally driven stories. These are companies that are closer to the goal line in terms of getting approval. And once they get approval, uh, there's some statistics that show the, 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 when they get their approval, the stocks even move more than in anticipation of that approval. That's why the stocks are moving. That's why they'll continue in 2018. So how's this FDA commissioner doing? I think fine. I think it's a continuation of what we saw in the Obama administration. It's an accommodative FDA. 
day, I think obviously the scrutinizing, they have to be scrutinizing the companies. They don't want products going in front of the American public that aren't going to work. But I think it's accommodative. The shots on goal are that much better. We're getting things in front of the FDA sooner, better, that have larger end markets. That's a harbinger of great things for 2018. All right. We'll keep watching. Mark, great to see you. Thanks, Maria. Thanks so much. Appreciate Mark it. Lehman, President, JMP Securities.